The HLJ stat is one of thermostats offerings for 120 volt systems. It's a programmable thermostat configured with a male and a female plug for simple installation along with an 18 foot sensor wire with thermal couple on the end. What we're going to do is we're going to discuss how to program the thermostat if necessary. The unit does come factory programmed, but if for any particular reason the program needs to be changed or if the program was accidentally lost, we'll go through ex the exact procedure on how to perform that. So right now we have the thermostat energized. As you can see, because this is just sitting on the table, it's reading the ambient temperature in this room. We're seeing a display of 70 degrees. The factory programming in the thermostat device is to have the heating cable system turn on when the pipe is at 40, 46, 47 degrees pipe temperature, meaning thermocouple is on the pipe, and it turns off when the pipe is at a temperature of 52 or 53 degrees. As of right now, if I press the menu button, it'll flash off. If I press the menu button one more time, it flashes the temperature that is programmed to, uh, at for turning off. It does not give me any other function. It's only giving me the off function. It does not give me the on function. The reason is, is that the keypad has actually been mostly locked out. And we've done this from the factory to actually prevent uh, an accidental override of the programming. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go through it on how to unlock the keypad and then offer uh, the ability to change the on temperature setting as well as adjusting the off temperature setting. So the first thing that we need to do before we're gonna need to go inside the device. Now we do not wanna go inside the device with the unit powered up. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna turn the power off. I confirm, you know, the LCD screen is out, so I know that there is no power inside. This is just to reduce the risk of shock. Of course, at the same time, potentially crossing over and causing any harm to the circuitry that's inside the unit. Using a Phillips screwdriver, just loosen off the two Phillips screws that hold the faceplate on the unit. With the screws removed, the faceplate comes right off. I'm just gonna move it here out of the way. So you can see the line voltage is underneath, protected by this cover. You have your sensor wire connection. And what we need to do is unlock the keypad. So what we have inside here is this little black jumper, which was just on a single pin what we need to do is we need to make sure that this jumper crosses both pins. So that jumper will go on here and it will cross the two pins. And it actually, even inside on the circuit board, it actually mentions the keypad unlock and, um, uh, and that, uh, so that's the indication there. So as of right now, jumper is crossed to the two pins to unlock the keypad, jumper removes, and just position it on one pin basically to short it. So jumper to unlock, we're gonna go on to the two pins. With that completed, we're gonna put the face plate back on so we can then bring power back into the unit. So there's just a couple of tabs in the front, press them in, make sure the sensor wire at the side is not being pinched. And with that, you just tighten in the Phillips screws Snug, not, um, not too tight, just enough to hold the plate, the cover in place. Once completed, now we are gonna re-energize the unit. So the unit is now energized, it's initializing. As of right now, it's indicating a temperature of 71. So this is the current temperature in which the thermostat is recognizing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, we're gonna make some uh, changes just to kind of see how these changes occur. We press the menu button. First thing we see is the flashing off. When we press the menu button one more time, we get a flashing temperature. What this means, this flashing temperature is the current 
off temperature we have programmed. Using the two arrow buttons, we can either turn the off temperature up or we can turn the off temperature down. So if just for this uh, uh, demonstration, let's just change it to 48 degrees. So we have 48 flashing now. I'm gonna press the menu button one more time. Now we have flashing on. This is what we did not have before because the keypad was locked out. Press the menu button one more time. Now we have the flashing temperature for the on temperature. So let's now just change this. So let's take it down to say 40 degrees. So the on temperature is now 40 degrees. We have the off temperature. I believe I programmed it for 48. I can double check that. So I just press the off button. Now this is just a sensor uh, code. You can ignore that. So we're gonna press it again. We're gonna ignore that one as well. It's not important to us. This one's also not important to us. And that one as well. We're back to the off again. So off was our 48. On, we now have 40. The unit will time out. About 30 seconds it would take for it to time out. Once it times out, it's no longer flashing. The new program is in place. With the programming now complete in the thermostat device, it would be advisable to lock the keypad once again to ensure that the settings don't get changed accidentally. By doing so, make sure that the unit is unplugged before going into the unit. Remember, Heatline recommends maintaining the pipe at around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So our preset temperatures of 46 to 47 as an on temperature and an off temperature of 52 to 53 degrees is what we suggest. The reason for that is, is that having 18 degrees above the freezing point provides us with a safety margin in case the thermal couple is not applied to the coldest point of the pipe. If you start setting the thermostat at a much lower temperature and that thermal couple is not on the coldest point of the pipe, you're not giving yourself much uh, leeway into the fact that that pipe could very well freeze before the thermostat can turn your system on. So 46, 47 uh, for on, 52, 53 is what we suggest as the off temperature. But if you do need to make an adjustment or if you need to bring back factory default settings, this is the procedure on how to perform that.